Thanks, Ed, and hi, everybody. I'm Alex Sleeth. I am the current chair of OSGO Oceania. I want to recognize that it's a great privilege, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. I come from Lutrawitta, Tasmania. Uh, I live in the city uh, Nipaluna, which is Hobart, foothills of Kunanyi, um, Mount Wellington. And I recognize uh, the tra traditional owners of that land, the Muanina people. I also thank you for having me here. Um, kia ora. Bula. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So what is OSG Oceania? We're a not-for-profit uh, company. That means a couple of technical things are in our constitution. We can't pay our shareholders. We can pay our president, but if that's, that person has done work, of course, we don't pay any of our board members. Uh, and if we were to break up as an organisation, uh, if we folded, then we need to get that money and put that into a similar organisation. We can't give it to our members, our shareholders. So that's the, the, the sort of technical part of our organisation. We are recognised as a local chapter of uh, the OpenStreetMap Foundation, so the, the international organisation, and OSGO International, the OSGO Foundation. Uh, that's a formal process. We, we, we tell them that we'd like to be a local chapter for both of those. And, actually had to sign a physical piece of paper for the OSM people and post it to Belgium, so you know, it's a pretty big deal. Um, our board is made up of people from Oceania, so not just Australia. We're an Australian company, but we have board members from New Zealand and Samoa currently. And we're all about supporting the open geospatial community in our region. So we have, we have members as an organisation. You can join as a member. There's a slide later. Please do. Um, every year we run this conference, of course, although it changes shape sometimes when there's a global pandemic. Um, and we do a number of other things, so I'll talk about those. So it's a, a bit of a brief history. Uh, some of us, John Bryant, myself, a bunch of other folks joined the committee and or created a committee, created a, a thing and said, we're going to run a conference. And we did it in partnership with the Surveying and Spatial Sciences Institute in Australia. And they actually took on all the risk of us making a financial loss. And in return, um, we agreed that they'll get half of the surplus. And we made some money on that conference in Melbourne. And with that, we founded an organisation, this entity, OSGO Oceania. And we ran another conference in Wellington. And we did that along with support from the Surveying and Spatial New Zealand. They received our New Zealand dollars in a New Zealand bank account and handled all the GST shenanigans, which is fantastic. We're doing that our own this time, and I'm terrified about it, but Greg and I are going to sort it out. But that um, conference went well too. We then planned to run a conference in 2020 in Fiji, and of course, we couldn't do that. But we ran a distributed hubs-based event, and that was actually really great because it was, it was more inclusive in a way. We had something like 50 people from the Kiribati joining from their hub, and over, we had over 400 people attending from a different hubs all over. Oceania, and so we've got maybe 150 people here. Being able to broadcast an event to 400 was pretty fantastic. In the middle of a pandemic, it was really cool. We did something pretty similar again um, the year after. You know, this is sort of a mix of being able to hold an in-person event and you know, the Canberra folks being able to, you know, shutting it down on the last minute because they couldn't. You know, it was a hard. It was a weird couple of years. Uh, last year we ran the conference in Suva and it really happened called the Pacific Geospatial Conference uh, uh, along with the PGRSC and it was fantastic to be able to do that uh, with that group and um, this year clearly we're here. So thank you for coming along and supporting us. So we've had a few leaders along the time, John Bryant at the start, um, John Bryant and myself in 2020, Ed Nearhart in uh, 2021, Jono in 2022, and I'm here again uh, for this year. So my term finishes uh, in about December when we're, we've got the elections happening. I want to recognise the current board. So those board members that are here, that can you please stand up, wave your hands around. <laughs> so we've got, yep, Tish, Jonah, Ed, Greg, Raf. Um, Oh, Ewan, Ed, Tua and Alan, so thank you. And please feel free to approach them and talk to them about what's going on and if you've got feedback, good or bad, please tell us. 
Uh, and so we have elections coming up for the next board. So we have our AGM on Thursday, but then we have a, a meeting to elect directors coming up in December where we do the sort of formal handover. And we have half of the board members changing each year and there's a two year term. So we've got a bit of a rolling board, which is nice. Um, yeah, Tish, Tua, Greg and Ed finish up this year. So thank you very much for doing what you do. Uh, if you're interested in joining the board, come and talk to one of the board members or, or someone who's a past board member and sort of understand what's there. But um, like the minimum we ask is that you come to the meetings once a month and have an opinion. Some of us enjoy having an opinion about things. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, but you can do, you can take it as far as you want, you know. Um, yeah. Um, cool. So what do we do? So this is a bit of a wordy kind of uh, explanation of what we do. Um, we govern and manage OSG Oceania, so we have the board meetings, we, we document things, um, we manage finance, we have bank accounts and we sign checks and that kind of stuff. We provide oversight of this conference, so the OSG Oceania board doesn't deliver the conference, we ask a committee to come together to deliver it and we support them in delivery. So we kind of have more of a strategic role and there's an operational committee that runs it. Uh, we co coordinate other outreach activities, so the um, so the this event, of course, um, state of the map, other meetings, these kind of things, and we have the relationship with OSG and our OSM. Although that doesn't, it's it's not necessarily board. It's the people in our membership who have those relationships, but we interact with them a little bit to to um to get some stuff done. Bank accounts, domain names. We've got an AWS account where we host some things. We do all of that kind of little bit of trickle over operations and we can enter into agreements. So, so the organising committee here are volunteers, the board's volunteers, but the organising committee shouldn't be taking on the risk of any of these kind of things. So in, if there's a formal agreement or a contract that needs to be signed, then the board, the company, assigns those agreements so that it protects the, um, the committee members. So some things that we do, um, financial oversight, of course, maintaining contact, routine operations, We've delivered over $9,000 in grants back out to the community over our three or four years of existence. We put uh, money into other projects. We put money into OSM. We put money into the Fugis Foundation and helped them to keep going. And every year we support travel grants. So this year it was about $20,000. In other uh, conferences we put in about the same amount to bring people who wouldn't otherwise be able to be here along to the event. I think it's really important. So what we want to do is, is things like MOUs with uh, Geospatial Council of Australia and, and Surveying Spatial New Zealand, I'm sure, is it um, good to do, uh, to, to build the understanding, respect and a, an agreement on our roles and how we can support each other. Uh, I've got some ideas about rewards and recognition that we haven't put together for this year, but I'd like to deliver that for next year so that we can celebrate some of, our, um, some of the members of our community and, and share in their successes. Um, we have to think and talk about whether we need to get bigger um, s s things like maybe um, asking members to, to um, pay money if they can, seek sponsorship so that we could employ someone to deliver more work. Maybe, that's an idea, something to talk about. Next up, I'd like you to be active a little bit, so if you can grab your phones and um, just give us a bit of feedback. And just let us know if there's something that we're not doing that you think we should do. So if we can get Slido on the screen, please, and start up the question there. And then there should be a fancy word cloud that comes up. What should the board do that we're not already doing? And I, I think as the board, we can take the results of this and discuss it and work on it, and we can build it into our, our planning. We don't really do strategic planning, but we can start doing that kind of, what are we going to achieve over the next 12 months? Please be candid. We're an open organisation. We want to hear what you think. Better communication, that's a good one. <laughs> Clearly we need to do that better, hey? 
So what does that what does that look like? Has someone got an opinion? Maybe we can run around. Can we get through a microphone? Does someone want to say what that might look like in their humble opinion? No one? Over here? Yeah, probably just a very minor example, but um, so I attended Wellington Conference, it was awesome. And it's like, whoa, Fosco GP Hall, exciting. And it was looking in ways to be involved. And then, it's like, okay, this is great. And then I went home to Invercargill. And then there was no Fosco GP. <laughs> and and I, I didn't quite, um, I don't know, feel confident enough to just reach out the Slack channel and just be like, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, so, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what you'd do to kind of, fix that or improve on that but so we can reach out so I mean one of our primary ways of communicating out is through through emails through our member list um, hopefully that's enough it's it's hard because we're all distributed but um, so we can put out requests for support it'd be so we can actively ask for help does that sound like what you're talking about yeah. anybody else a, a what go on a hug? You can have a hug. I, I don't know what that means. Ah, user group. <laughs> ah, like a Fosfor G user group. Yeah, yeah, it's a good idea. So we do have Slack. You can join us on the Slack and there's a, it's a bit of a technical forum, but a user group. We could do some kind of regular meetups on, online perhaps. School workshops is something which is a really good idea and it takes, it takes a lot of effort and, and some motivation. So there's some folks up in Queensland um, doing the, the the drone workshops all over the place. And so they've got funding, but they do a really good job and they go into the schools and they educate. And there's an opportunity. It's a registered training organization, yeah. 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 It's a good idea. Uh, local events, and that's a, that's a good one and that's an easy one because We've got micro grants. If you want to run an event and you need some money to pay for pizza or a venue or something like that, you can ask us. Just put, fill in a little form and say, this is what I want to do. We can support you. We can help you identify other people in the local region. So that's something we're already doing. I think the Perth folks are doing a really good job of that already. Look, thank you for this. We will um, we keep throwing them in there. But um, let's um, go back to the slides, please. And uh, we'll take that off and as some feedback for the board. And I really appreciate it. So where are we now? We, we have a base of money in the bank and that's been stable and that's, that's good to know because we've got a bit of a nest egg. We do our best to push, push money out in terms of grants and that kind of thing, um, but we make money from the conferences that we run and most of them and that keeps us going. As I said earlier, without paid staff, it's hard to do more. We're volunteers, um, you know, like the operational day-to-day -day is, is enough often. Um, but I really want to mention that I'm, I'm really proud of the grants program and the, so we've got travel grants to bring people here and it's great to see those folks here. We've got the grants committee, so there are small, well there's micro, there's smaller and there's mid, large ones. Um, GeoGex Perth, they've got a, a, a longer term one, so once a month they run an event and actually um, Amir pointed out that that event's running and that's great and it's building a community. It started small and it's getting bigger and it's fantastic to be able to support that. The Kiribati Women in Mapping that we heard about earlier today as well, we support that group and that's fantastic. And there's other things that happen too. And the only reason that this happens really <laughs> is because of Ellie, because she loves to spend money. Um, <laughs> and, it's, and this is an example of what you can do if you come on the board or even if you just want to be involved a bit. You can jump on that committee and help review these things or promote these things and get it out there. It's individuals that make stuff happen and you're a remarkable individual, Ellie, and we're lucky to have you. Thank you. So a call to action. You should be a member. Hopefully you are. If you are a member, then you're eligible for grants. You can vote in the board election. You can stand to be a board member. And maybe, maybe we'll talk about you can support us by paying us some money. I don't know. I don't think we need that, but we can talk about that. Um, it's similar to being a charter member of OSGO. Um, uh, global or the OSM we heard about yesterday. Um, come on, join us. Um, 
conference next year, we've got a call for proposals open. So if we can find a crew and find a venue and write up something, then we need somewhere to run it uh, next year with some enthusiastic crew. Have a chat to folks. Um, and finally, I want to just do a little bit of a bit of a spruik for the whole spirit of the thing. So we, we talk about free and open uh, software, open source software, open data. And uh, it's free as in beer. Yeah, it doesn't cost us any money, sure, but it's not just that. It's free as in speech, as in it's a privilege or a right, sure, but it's not just that. It's like free as in a puppy, in that you've got a little bit of responsibility and sometimes you've got to clean up some mess. But hey, it's a nice way to think about it, I think. So thank you for having me and um, thank you for coming along to this fantastic conference. I'd be happy to answer any questions, otherwise we can move over into the panel. Uh, uh, I did briefly, but tomorrow at 4.30 there is the annual general meeting of the board. So all are welcome. Um, it's, it's a formal thing to sort of table the annual report and financial statements. But yeah, stick around if you want. But um, if you could say one thing to sell being a member of OSGO Oceania, what would it be? Alex. <coughs> it's, um, it's supporting the organisation. If you believe in the organisation, you believe in our mission to do this kind of work, you get on the mailing list, you get, we'll proactively communicate to the members and we do. It's a way of being involved in this community and keeping us growing, giving us confidence. Yeah. Anderson? Oh, Ellie? I really have my revenge, <laughs> <laughs> but not, that's not the question. Can you tell people how the election works if someone wants to become a member yeah, uh, sure. of the board? Yep. So with the election, you can nominate yourself or ask someone to nominate you. You need to be a member. Uh, the process or the, the call for nominations will open up uh, soon. Where's Ewan? Soon. <laughs> and uh, so there are four spaces opening. If there are more than four nominations, then we have an election, and so members will be asked to, to vote. And so there'll be a, a bit of a, a, um, a blurb about what that individual hopes to achieve, and um, the members can um, elect. Yep. Is that good enough explanation? Any other questions? Over here. Hi. I uh, just want to probably check with you if there are going to be awards for, you know, if the companies who are contributing a lot of money, for instance, to the OSGO OSG community in the future, or it ha has it happened? I'm not sure if it's yep. the first time. That's a great question. So the question is, will there be awards for companies, organisations who are contributing? And uh, look, the awards process is in draft. It's been circulated, but it's something that needs to be taken forward, I think, by the next board. Uh, and it's definitely in the list is um, individuals, organisations, um, yeah, contributors, that kind of thing. Any other questions? No? Well, thanks again for having me as a chair. It's a privilege and an honour. Thank you. <laughs>